Hello friends from Artu International Magazine. We are in Dubai with master artist Hisham Malik. Hisham, how are you doing? Not bad. How are you? Great, thank you. First of all, thanks for the time and taking this afternoon that you could be doing something else, but you're here with us to share with the public and to share with the audience um, a little bit about you. It's my pleasure. Great. And uh, well, these interviews that we do are Art to Heart. That's the title of the interview. And I usually tell the artists, we're going to go as deep and profound into your soul as yeah. you allow us to do it. Yeah. Um, but to begin with, I would like to hear a little bit about your background, yeah. your younger years and your dreams of becoming an artist. I was uh, born in Bahrain, Manama. And obviously, uh, since we are kids, we all are painting. And uh, initially, the encouragement, it comes from school more than home. So my started the same way. It, it started in school. And the teachers, even when I was studying in uh, Mumbai, the teachers would always say, you should take up art, you should, you'll become an artist. So it was since these young days that the teachers kept saying, you're going to be a great artist, you're going to be an artist. It's not that I thought at that, at that time I just want to kick a ball. Yes. So, <laughs> uh, but I think in, in some way or the other, it stays inside you. And um, plus I, I should give credit because my mother would sketch. And uh, so it was, I, I guess it's in the family. Yes. So, and then as time passed by, um, um, I was, for further studies, I went to uh, Canada. And over there, uh, first, it was the first time I saw it as a profession because it's very seriously, people take this subject art very seriously. It's not how I was, uh, how it's in school. So I think it's, it's, as time passed by, it just kept happening. I did not do much to um, follow it or pursue it, but unknowingly it was within me and the interest was there. It came naturally to me. Um, I did not follow any style or any um, uh, s sort of artist or something. It was just the experience I would portray. So it was since young, young days, I that's how I see it. Yeah. Well, we were talking earlier, and I want to mention this because there's a lot of artists who are listening. And uh, you mentioned something really interesting that happened to you when you were 21, mm -hmm. and you went to school. Can we talk about it? Yeah. Actually, Is it okay? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I, I actually wanted to, uh, since I had such a great interest in art, I thought, why not take art as a subject and study, do your bachelors and then masters but um, since there are so many students applying uh, you have to uh, present yourself in front of a committee and it's only when you pass or you go through it from stage one to stage two then stage three and then the final stage you get your uh, green card or something so I did not go through first stage because they told me that look it's not for you it you can take it up as a hobby wow. yeah um and i was confident that i'll go to stage one two three get the green card do my bachelor's but uh, i i tried a lot i i tried for the second time and again uh, it was a different committee and for the second time to do me the same thing it's not for you because uh, and then they started speaking about technical stuff that you know your strokes are not right you're using your hands, you're flashing, and I said, well, uh, because you pick a subject from the jar, and then you try to portray it. But uh, I, I guess um, education is for everyone, so what I used to do is, uh, during uh, college, I would go to these classes and just sit over there, and it was, uh, I would finish my classes soon and then go for these art classes sneak in and uh, I always did it and but uh, I, I did not officially I do not have a degree in uh, fine arts or something yeah like many other masters Ex exactly from contemporary they, and modern they, art yeah, yeah. history you yeah. know yeah. 
because um, and even in my experience I meet many other artists who don't even have uh, secondary education because I think uh, they just follow what they enjoy it's their style it's within them so they just do what they feel like when it comes on a canvas so uh, but in many ways I think um, I I'm lucky because uh, anything can happen anything could happen yeah so yeah that's and have you always done um, abstract art is that something that has been your passion from the beginning or have you done figurative at any point actually uh, what I was told that if you want to become an artist you need to find your own style so I was trying everything and every time I tried something it looked like someone has already done it so um, and I used to meet many experienced artists and uh, I used to go to galleries or these art sections and they would always say it's it's it comes to you naturally you don't need to look for it you're looking for it so I tried abstract I tried everything but I think uh, I, I got my style when I was not looking for it okay. and um, when I started mixing things when I started experiencing life more than staying uh, just staying indoors and experimenting with colors because the more I experimented with life with people uh, understanding their stories and then some stories will just stay within you they never leave and that happened naturally uh, it started coming onto the canvas and that's when I started mixing ab abstract with figurative and different styles and I, I see that as a beginning as uh, my start hmm. in the development of your art and in, and in, in your technique has uh, traveling to so many locations because you have been well you were born in Bahrain yeah, yeah. then you were raised between India and in Dubai. Dubai you've lived in Canada you are now based in Prague yeah. has that affected uh, your your style what you're doing what you are um, conveying in your in your, in your canvas uh, definitely but I think it's a mix of everything yeah. because it, it's not one style and I think it's good because you have the Middle Eastern touch then you have the Indian colors because uh, they're different countries different people they have uh, follow different um, let it be culture religion their life is different so I think in a way uh, I have a small piece of everything which I, I consider myself very lucky to experience um, life from different lands and then um, as an artist it helps me uh, portray all of them in on one canvas so yeah I would say yes is there a specific message you're trying to convey I don't think uh, it is my own message but today um, I meet you I spend some time with you uh, some part of your story stays with me your life a part of your life so um, somewhere down the lane I portray your story and then I write about it because people say you know you don't you write a lot about your art just keep a few lines but then <laughs> if I write about it exactly. people who read then they know it's about you the artist is speaking about uh, a journalist or another artist and how um, she felt about colors so I think it's very interesting to portray people on canvas rather than um, uh, just have my own message because um, this is something that um, it's very um, it's very raw to portray or to uh, convey your own message it's 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 very interesting when you portray people mm -hmm. that's like a broad a bigger message to a bigger audience so that's what that's how I do it at least are children part of that story that you oh big big part because with children it's like uh, what happens is now as an artist before someone tells me that you know you're doing something wrong they'll think that you know this guy is a big artist but children like 
recently I was with some children uh, at the Rashid Pediatric Center and they're like, you know what, you have wrong strokes. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean wrong strokes? He's like, our, and the guy is so small. And he's like, our teacher told us when you paint, you paint in one stroke. You painting like this. <laughs> so I, I think they are very innocent. But at the same time, they have a lot of creativity. Many, many times people ask me, who do you follow? Some master or some artist and I always say that it's the children that uh, I don't follow but they they share their creativity mm -hmm. you meet many artists and they are like scared they think like you know he may steal our mm -hmm. our ideas or something like this but when you speak to children they just tell you don't mix yellow with red it still looks red <laughs> you know, so all these things it's, it's very interesting the way they do things and uh, I think they are a big part of the art world unknowingly. Yeah. Mm. Speaking of children, I know you had uh, recently an event, a uh, charity event, you're very involved. I think uh, I see you uh, not only as an artist but as an activist who's trying to help uh, children in need, so, um, sending some message with your work at the same time. Can you tell us about that event that uh, took place recently? I think um, we all, artists, let it be writer, poet, actor, painter, I think if we all uh, take a small part of our time and give it to them, it, it, it makes it very interesting for them. I have a, like through, I spent like half a day with them and uh, if you spend half a day with me, after some time I'm going to start complaining about the weather, about my life or something, something I will start complaining, I'm sure. But the, the half a day I was with them, all of them were smiling. They didn't look that they have any problem, any issue. And in actuality, they, from inside they may have, but they're happy. Yes. They were painting, if they were not painting, they were smiling, they were playing and it's a very strong message. They have a lot of gratitude for what they have. They can walk, they can paint. So they didn't have any time to complain and I think that's a very big message for uh, everyone that if we have gratitude, like you know today I can walk, today I can talk, there are people who cannot do it. So why not be grateful to what, for what we have? And spending time with uh, those uh, children or any children, I think it's like um, it motivates them. They are, yes, they are self-motivated, but we can motivate them more. It brings the creativity within. Uh, we can share our creativity. So in a way, it's a part of the education. And I think we all should do it. I want to talk about your daily routine as an artist because I have heard so many different ones yeah. and it's always interesting to hear. I want to know how's your how's the day in your life? What do you do? You get up, you exercise, you paint, you scream, you eat. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually my day is the night and my night is the day. Okay. Yeah. Because I have this weird concept that when everyone is sleeping, um, the city is more quiet. So if I take a canvas um, at 2 a.m. and go to the beach, there's no one on the beach. It's just me. So, and I keep doing it. And sometimes the cops pass by and they say, what are you doing here? I said, uh, I'm painting. They say, are you crazy? I said, um, well, I just wanted to be quiet. And it is, there's no one on the beach. Even the birds, I guess. And um, it is dark, but I, I, I'm calm. And uh, it brings, I think, it's a bad habit, but it became a point where I can uh, create uh, freely. And uh, then the sun rises and you see the first ray of the sun. And uh, the whole uh, part where it goes from dark to bright, I think it's very, um, very interesting. So I spend most of the uh, nights painting. Even if I'm indoors, because I'm not always outdoors, I, I paint during night. Then I sleep during day. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because everyone of needs course. to sleep. So. Yes. 
and then uh, sometimes the painting does not work out as we wish so as soon as I get up I think that why did not it work out so I go back to the canvas but then I cannot complete the canvas so there are many incomplete paintings and yeah that the general um, I try to know what's happening around the world so I I don't get into it because if mostly newspapers give you everything mm. uh, about things that we don't want to know so I just uh, flip through the headings so at least you know what's happening but yeah I, I read and uh, I don't meet a lot of people because I just keep uh, going back to my paints going back to my canvas and uh, yeah the only time I I meet a lot of people or speak to people is when I travel because it's very interesting I find it very interesting even like you know meet you to know your life story because there is um, it's completely different and it's equally challenging and you have your own story and you will have your own highs and lows and I think it's it's every every story is different every person is different so I don't think there is good or bad in each one of us it's just that how we see the world and what we have gone through and that's what has made you and me and that's how we live so I, I find people very interesting so that's how my night and day is okay yeah. speaking of life story and, and what we have gone through mm -hmm. what would you say have been or have yeah have been um, the main challenges that you have found in your journey through your career, your person as a human being until this point in your life? I think uh, <clears throat> I have uh, had some medical issues and um, when I was young I used to cry about it, I used to think oh why me and but then as time passes by it becomes a part of you Yes. you accept it and you realize that um, everyone has something or the other and the sooner you accept such things the sooner you become friends with your uh, let it be epilepsy or your any sickness the better for you so I think uh, me as a person um, adjusting to um, such things which I suffer from is my biggest challenge um, as a person, as an artist, because what goes within you, that's exactly what you will portray on your canvas. So my canvas is not always red and yellow. There were times when it would be really dark. Mm -hmm. I would portray the devil and black. And <laughs> so I, I think um, as a person, this is a, a very big challenge that I I keep. It keeps coming back to me I keep fighting it just as each one of us keeps yep. um, fighting through our day-to-day -day things and those challenges actually make you who you are yes you you sort of graduate to a higher level you learn a lot about yourself mm -hmm. you learn about um, others and um, it, it makes you uh, the person who you are going to be become anyways nothing can stop it you are going to become who you actually are it's just a path that is taking you to yes. who you actually are yeah. yeah and who you actually are is also your new series Esparito, yeah. Esparito. Mm -hmm. and well I haven't seen it yet but I've seen your work and it is profound you can tell it comes from from within um, what is this new series? What are you expressing on this new series? Actually, um, what I'm trying to um, express the most is the spirit of life, the, the spirit of who we all are. Um, it's not a part of any culture or any theme. It's basically our world and our spirit, which we all share which we all have in common within us 
and uh, it's it's simply just about the spirit of life and uh, i think um, in a way each and every artist has it within them and um, the show is just simply about the spirit of life yeah you were awarded how can you talk I, to us I, about it <laughs> you know if i know i'm going to get a award i just don't go there <laughs> because if you tell me to paint on a stage i can paint but uh, if you give me an award and say say few words it's very difficult because um as an artist you deserve an award he deserves it we all we all yeah it's 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 not it's nothing that makes uh, one better than the other because art is art i may uh, see your art in a different way someone else may see it in a different way i don't see awards in as a good thing in general but uh, yes i did not know and uh, they just said you are getting an award for uh, globally contributing to the art market and which is uh, good to hear of course you know it was more than the award the words that they said i i I realized that oh, it's been a journey. Yes. So it was good to um, uh, remind me about the past years. It's good to hear. Yeah, know? yeah, exactly. It's good to hear that the 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 outside world yeah. is actually uh, receiving. You know, they're yeah. reminding you. Yeah. We are reminding yeah. you. You're giving, and we are thankful yeah, exactly. for what you're yeah. giving. And and I'm actually thankful for the time that you're giving us right no, now no, okay. uh, for opening the heart. Yeah. Really, yeah. Um, we're gonna have an event coming up in June. Yeah. I can't wait until you <laughs> unveil that that series yeah. and and we can share it with yeah. the public. Um I thank you so much. Uh the only question I have for you and is the last question is for the young artists that are starting which uh we are facing a lot of challenges in different countries in in different <clears throat> what message you have for the artists out there that are the young the dreamers? I think um if you can dream that means it's possible it's going to happen and um there are many times I felt it's not going to happen but I just kept dreaming and I just kept following I I just um I never gave up so I think uh very important is not to give up and as I said if you can dream then that it can be possible it will be possible and um, even for young artists i would say it's very important to explore life because uh, the colors are in life and once you explore life and people then the colors from within come out on the canvas it's not the other way around you don't explore colors and then life uh, that's how i see it so yeah and i i hope there are many more artists and i keep meeting them wonderful thank yeah. you so much for your time for for being open yeah. and for sending your message out there there's a lot of artists um a lot of readers you know a lot of people who are going to benefit from from just listening to you so i thank you it's my pleasure i thank you thanks everyone mm-hmm.